Phantomaniacs, welcome to another unboxing featuring my co-host, Phantom Jr. I found the entire Black Widow wave of Marvel Legends figures at Target the other day, including the deluxe figure of uh, Natasha in her white suit, which is kind of the one I think everybody wanted, like after seeing the trailer, Mm -hmm. uh, with all of the different effects and everything, so... We're going to open these up and see what we think of them. So, let's get started. You can do uh, Phantom Jr., since these will be his, is opening all of the comic book-based figures. And, uh, what's his face? Taskmaster. And then I am opening up the movie-based figures and the deluxe figure, although we'll save that one for the end, and we'll kind of both do that one. Okay. All right, so I am starting with... Yelena Belova, uh, portrayed in the movie by Florence Pugh, who is great. Uh, she was in Midsummer, <clears throat> and something else that I really enjoyed her, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Uh, she includes the torso and shoulder pads for the... Who's the build figure? Um, Crimson Dynamo. Crimson Dynamo build a figure that I believe is comic book based. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. I think so. So we're just going to take these build a figure pieces and leave them right over here right now. It's not what it looks like when I saw them in one of the Lego games. Oh, and she includes whatever this part is too. I don't know. You may not get this build a figure. This looks really cool. Yeah. It's not fair, is it? No. Oh well, life's not fair. That's why that's why everybody's quarantined right now. Mm. And you don't get to go to school. Are you missing school? No. No, not at all. Not even no. just seeing people. No. Like the social aspect of it. I'm missing not having to do digital learning day. Is digital learning terrible? Yes. It seems like it would be terrible. Alright. And if you haven't listened to one of these unboxings before, uh, we do apologize for all the noise these plastic trays make, but there's not really a whole lot we could do about it, unless we just opened everything beforehand, but then it wouldn't really be an unboxing, would it? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, looking at the Yelena figure, uh, looks like a great lightness in the face. Uh, they're, honestly, at this point, these Marvel Cinematic Universe figures they're doing an amazing job capturing the actor's likenesses between the uh, digital sculpting and now the whatever the computer printing laser printed faces whatever they're doing these look incredible yeah i i would say here's the thing as much as i like a lot of the comic book based figures the reason i'm so invested in the marvel cinematic universe figures is because for the most part they're all 100% new tooling like, when you look at the comic-based figures, you can see where all the parts are shared across the line. But these are pretty exciting because they're they're all new, and they're based specifically on the movie version of the character. So there's no... They don't really fudge anything. Mm-hmm. Unless it's a matter of Hasbro didn't have access to the right pictures at the right time. So, like, this... I don't think this Black Widow's hair is correct, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. As far as uh, this figure goes, uh, she's great. She's got functional holsters with her little pistols that fit right into them. She's got interchangeable hands, and I can't believe now how common interchangeable hands have become when they were something that we wanted so badly for so many years. And they just didn't seem like a possibility. And now, literally, every release you buy has interchangeable hands. Uh, Her tiny little pistols are a little tricky to get in these holsters. There we go. And they do face the... Or what I feel like is... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a holster. This is actually a little sheath full of daggers 
So she comes with two pistols, but only has storage a storage spot for one, which is fine. That doesn't really bother me. Because she can always hold one of them. Uh, and I like that there's a little variation there. That's kind of cool that mm -hmm. those are all daggers. Now, who'd you open up? Uh, the Winter Soldier. I was about to say Bucky Barnes. Well, yeah. So what's what's going on with him? Um, he has really rubbery hands. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, comes with a like, regular assault rifle, gun, and a pistol. But the pistol doesn't have a holster because there's a, another pistol glued into the holster. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Let mm -hmm. me see this. Oh, I hate that. That's the worst. Why even do that? So there's nowhere now. There's nowhere to put this other pistol. So it's it's almost a similar situation to this, where there's a pistol with nowhere to put it. That's kind of a weird. Uh, other than that, though, how's the how's the figure look? Um, it's pretty good. It's um, it's more like the comic book one, obviously, because it's a comic book figure. Right. The metallic arm. Looks kind of. It doesn't look as good as Colossus's metallic. Right, stuff, right. But it's still pretty good. I like on this one her elbows. They're single joint elbows, but look how much that bends. That's wild. I mean, that's almost a forty-five degree bend. Uh, and it's got a swivel at the top of it too. So she doesn't have a bicep swivel. She has that, which I prefer. Uh, she's got her wrist shooters that are separate pieces that move around pretty nicely. Uh, fingerless gloves on her hand, and they're actually all sculpted. They're not just painted black on the top of her hands. Uh, and then she's got a, a flag vest. No, excuse me, a flag vest on top of her white suit. Uh, looks really good, but there is a big giant gap <laughs> at the back of her head. It looks a little weird, but... It's easy enough to pose her, so that's not as, as visible. Uh, very cool figure. Something a little different. A new character, which is always exciting. Uh, pretty happy with this one. This this is, if you're looking at this wave, I think this is a figure you'll be happy with. Now, we haven't seen the movie yet, and we're actually probably not going to see it for quite some time. I'll just open on the side there. Just, yeah. Um... No, 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 from up top. No, up right here. The tape's right there. Uh, we haven't seen the movie. It was supposed to come out May 1st, and now it has been TBD. You know what TBD means? Um, to be something. To be determined. Mm. Uh, so we don't know when this movie is coming out now, and we don't know how. It's entirely possible Disney will decide to just put it on Disney Plus instead of even sending it to theaters and just mm -hmm. cut their losses. Uh, so now, who are you opening? Um, Crossbones. Oh, but wait, before that, so overall, what do you think of this winter soldier? Um, I think the hands could be better. Are they super, let me see. They're really rubber. Oh, uh, yeah, they're really loosey-goosey. But also the wrist is... Yeah, well, don't do that too much. It'll make it even worse. The robot, I mean, the metal armrest isn't that bad, but this one is... Yeah, that's um, really weird. Did, did he come with no extra hands? Nope. Just uh, him and his rifle mm -hmm. and his pistol. Looks good, though. They've used this body before, but I think this is the best job they've done with it. Yeah. So, if, you're, if you don't have a Winter Soldier, uh, this is a great one to get. But if you do already have... Well, have they done a comic Winter Soldier, though? Yeah. They have? Mm -hmm. Is this one way, way better? Yeah. Okay. Because so, that one, the legs are terrible. Uh, oh, it has the old mm -hmm. leg joints? Okay, so this one's definitely a worthy upgrade. Yeah. Uh, you opened up Crossbones. What part did he come with? He came with the arm. Big, giant arm. And I am opening up Red Guardian, uh, played by... What's his face from Stranger Things? David Harbour. David Harbour, thank you. And uh, also Hellboy. Hopefully this movie does a little better than Hellboy. And he comes with the left arm of Crimson Dynamo. 
We can put that over there with our pile of pieces. So let's talk about crossbones. His hands don't move whatsoever. What do you mean? They won't open. They're like super hard? Oh my gosh. Whoa. They're like the opposite of those Winter Soldier hands. That is ridiculous. So, he comes with these weird laser pistol look. Actually, they look like laser tag guns. Yeah. Uh, Two, like, tiny shotguns or something. That he cannot hold. Like, that is too big to fit in there. It's not long enough. Well, yeah, that's really bad. So these shotguns, though, I bet these work a lot better. These are cool. I like these. These are small, like, handheld, sawed-off shotguns. Those are actually pretty cool. Let's try one of those. I like this pistol, but it doesn't mm -hmm. seem... Does it seem weird for him, though? Yeah. I don't know why he has this. So these, these sawed-off shotguns fit in a little easier. The finger goes... Oh, the finger... This... Okay, this one's like it's made for him. Mm -hmm. That one looks... Excuse me. That one looks really good. Put these in there. There you go. So he can just hold those and then have the laser pistols. Now as far as the rest of the figure, aside from his ridiculously rigid hands, uh, how's the rest of the figure look? Um, pretty good. Because I don't really know anything about the comic book crossbones. Um, See, he can hold those really well. Those yeah. look cool. I like them. And they go with kind of a pirate theme, I guess. Yeah. They look like pirate guns. Some metallic boots. Well, they're glossy. I don't glossy. know that they're really metallic. His head, um, it has a little skull mouth. Is that sculpted or painted? That is painted. Okay, so his mask is all paint job, which is fine. He's got the little Does ties, ties goodness. on the back. Yeah, that's good. If those came out, you'd just lose them. Uh, I like his his belt and holsters rig. That looks mm -hmm. really cool. They're and connected. It, yeah, it's connected to his legs, and but the, but it does move around, so it doesn't mess up the articulation. So these don't fall off like sarcophagus. Uh, yeah, right. Waistbands. All of his bands. Yeah. Everything. I still need ankle to put, bands. Yeah, I still need to put spots of glue on him keep those in place. Uh, he's a big figure. He's taller than most of the other figures. Uh, and he looks very comic booky. I like him. He looks good. They did a good job. I don't really care about the character, but they did a good job making him look cool. And now that I see those pirate guns, like I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I need a crossbones <laughs> too. But I already told you you could have that one. Uh, so let's take a look at Red Guardian. Uh, the likeness, uh, again... That likeness is incredible. Does his hair seem a little dark, though? Yeah. He looks really pale. He does look a little pale, but he's... Yeah, he's Russian. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a pale people in a pale country. Uh, he has a brand new shield. Very different from Captain America's. It's got a different design on it. Uh, the big red star is obviously the Russian star. But it doesn't have... Don't the movie ones usually have that leather hand grip yeah. on them? So it doesn't have that. All it's got is the articulated clip so that you can clip it onto his wrist and then it flips down and has a peg so you can stick it on his back, which is nice. It's, it's smart. It's good functionality. It plugs right into his back. Uh, as far as the rest of him, he's, again, 100% new tooling. Lots of great detail on this costume. He's actually very like G.I. Joe bad guy looking. Yeah. I really like this military style that he has. Uh, he's got on, uh, his pants have pockets sculpted on the side. He's got all kinds of cool straps and stuff. It, it's reminiscent of Captain America's uniform without being just a red version of it. Mm. Uh, he's got big, uh, thick wrist guards on. Uh, plenty of articulation, double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, of course, because that's Marvel Legends now. Uh, the back of the glove is sculpted and painted on. Uh, this is a great figure. I really like this. And looking at this, I I think the GI Joe line is scaled 
to the Marvel Legends. And looking at this now, I'm kind of imagining these MCU figures with those G.I. Joe figures, although those are, those are going to be a little too cartoony compared to these, because yeah. the, the faces don't look realistic like this. And, and I mean, they you know, they shouldn't, because they're not based on real people. I like his, bi- look, at, look at that, you can barely even see his bicep joint. Oh, uh, until you turn it, yikes! Oh, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen on an MCU Marvel Legends figure. When you turn his biceps, it ruins the profile of the figure. Oh, that's terrible. Why couldn't they round that out a little bit more? Oof. Uh, But otherwise, he looks great. All the paint is very solid. The lightness is good. Um, I feel like they captured him as he looks in the movie pretty well. He might be a little too slim, because I think he's supposed to be fatter than that. Mm. But... uh, they seem to have something against making fat people. Well, I don't know. We haven't seen the fat Thor build a figure. So we don't know. But to me, it doesn't look like it's fat enough. Mm-hmm. And we also have not seen a fat Thor like from the end of Endgame. Yeah. Which I really want. Mm-hmm. Alright, so Red Guardian. I mean, if you're a David Harbour fan, if you're collecting these figures, it's a must-have. I really like it. And, and again, it's a new character. So yeah. that, to me, is an exciting thing. All right, so you've already opened up Spy Master here. Now, I thought this guy looked pretty goofy, mm-hmm. but now looking at him as a figure, he's colorful. He catches my eye. He's going to look good on the shelf. Like, he's he's going to be shelf candy. You're yeah. going to notice him. Uh, he's using a standard body. He's basically all paint job, except for his belt and holster. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what he's got going on? Um, he has a little red gun that looks like it's looks like Crossbones gun, but red and not Is it like, pretty much the same thing? Yeah, it's the exact same gun. Okay. Um I can't not I can't dislike that because it really does look like a laser tag pistol. Mm-hmm. His belt has a holster and some little like dart looking thing on the side one of those spit dart things oh like a blow gun yeah okay and then an s on his belt that's a nice touch it's got some paint on it yeah okay and then on his chest he has a little circle it looks like it's a, a fence behind it with a knife a blue knife in the middle. Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> logo, but it is eye-catching. Mm-hmm. It stands out nicely on the figure. It gives it a little something extra. It looks like his paint's really clean. Yeah. They did a good job with all of that. I'm not crazy about his armpits, though. <laughs> Tell us about the armpit. Um, it has a yellow joint, which looks like it's been blended with blue, kind of. Because it's not the same yellow... As what's the yellow on the character? Well, I think the joint piece itself is yellow, and then on top of the shoulder, it's paint, so mm-hmm. it doesn't quite match. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just wish that yellow wasn't visible in the armpit. But I, you know, I don't know that there's much they could have done about that. I like him, like Crossbones. I like him more than I thought I would. He's an eye-catching figure. He looks different. The only thing that's even close to him is one of the blue and yellow Deadpool's. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's pretty neat. I like him. What did he come with? A um, red gun. And oh, a leg. The uh, one of the legs for Crimson Dynamo. I don't know which one. Uh, maybe left. All right. I'm gonna open up Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow herself, in her black battle suit from the beginning of the trailer and presumably the beginning of the movie. She comes with all kinds of gear, and uh, the right leg of Crimson Dynamo, and set that right over there, and we have two pistols, uh, two closed fists, and her battle batons, or whatever you call them, and what's interesting about this figure is in the past, the movie Black Widow figures have not had functional holsters. Have you noticed that? Yeah. The guns are always permanently built into the holsters. And one of the possible reasons I had read for that was that Scarlett Johansson 
is personally against firearms. I don't know if this is true. This is a thing I had read. Is that she is personally against firearms and would not approve any of her figures to have usable pistols. Now, I don't know if that was tr- uh oh. I don't know if that was true at any point, but uh, it looks like whatever the issue was, they've moved past it because this figure, finally, uh, we have a Black Widow with functional holsters, removable pistols. Oh, this is cool. Look, she's got a little. Oh, look at this. Her backpack mm-hmm. is storage for her batons. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I hope they go all the way in. Ooh, maybe they don't. Well, those kind of stick out a little far. But maybe that... Well, she would I Maybe she would, I don't know. Still, it's cool. We haven't seen that before. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. My only issue with them is they're rubber, like so many of the guns and weapons and other things that come with these figures are. And uh, they're all warped. So i got to straighten these things out. She has a very cool battle suit. It is not just black. It has gray portions to it. And it's ju- just a really, really cool looking suit. Uh, it reminds me of I cannot remember the artist, but one of the Black Widow miniseries uh, that was released probably five years ago now. And she had a suit very similar looking to this, I think. Uh, it looks great. Really great seams, lots of good detailing. This is by far the the coolest Black Widow figure we've gotten. Uh, the facial likeness is great. Looks like Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. They nailed it. I mean, at this point with these MCU figures, it's it, you know they're going to look good. Uh, the proportions are all really nice. She looks like a human. There's nothing weird. Uh, she has the high heels, but they're the... They're basically what she wears in the movies. The the flat heel thing. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, so hopefully she won't have much trouble standing. Let's see if I can... Well, that, yeah. And look, she's standing on this soft table surface. This isn't even a hard surface. So she, she can stand just fine. Interesting to note, though, that Yelena does not have heels like that. Uh, but I don't know how tall Florence Pugh... Well, let's see. Obviously, Florence Pugh is a little taller than Scarlett Johansson because, look, even with her big heels, she's shorter. And I think Scarlett Johansson's only like 5'3". So, she's she's a petite lady. Uh, hands switch right out. She's got... These aren't... I was wrong. These aren't closed fists. These... Oh, wait. Yeah, they are. So, her batons have thick handles so that she can hold them right. Uh, but those... Pistols go right into the holsters. I don't know how they... St- oh, there they, there they go. They're going pretty well. Very nice. Uh, so this this is awesome. She's got glossy boots, uh, gold belt buckle with the little red detail, the red uh, Black Widow detail in the middle. She has the, uh, the gold, full-on gold wrist launcher deals. Uh, this, this is... What do you think of this versus the other Black Widow figures we've gotten? Mm, that one's pretty good. It's it's great. I think they did a good job with this. Very eye-catching. Uh, this will absolutely replace the other ones on my shelf. Now, what I'm wondering, I don't think you'd be able to put a different head on it if you wanted to because her hair is sculpted to hang over that little backpack. Mm-hmm. And if you tried to put another one on, it wouldn't. I don't think it would work. But this has got a great head. I just like some of the other haircuts that are available but she looks great they did a great job i'm i'm very happy with all three of these figures that i've opened up so far now you while i was doing that opened up taskmaster the movie version of taskmaster yep. uh let's talk about this guy um very shiny you don't know if it's a guy oh this person you're right you're right this person there's a extra fist over there is that his that's where that was <laughs> What did he? What did, did? Oh, he didn't come with a part, did no. he? Because he comes with so many mm-hmm. accessories. He's got how many? Does he have four alternate hands or six? Six. Let's get this. 
Well, he's got four alternate six total. Yeah. And then he comes with this really cool looking sword that's basically made of rubber. Very disappointing. Uh, and then a bow and an actual arrow. A giant arrow. That thing is huge. I don't huge. know how you put this in. You probably don't. Let's see. I mean, I know it looks like you put it in there, but I don't know how you hold how to hold it. Yeah, I th I think it would be more of more of uh, you'd just have to pose him holding it like this, yeah. like it's not actually going to draw back really. But it still looks good. It looks yeah. cool. It's cooler than Hawkeye's mm -hmm. bow and arrow. He comes with a very small little shield. I think that's accurate, though. Mm -hmm. I think he uses a smaller shield. Comes with some Black Panther hands. Yeah, I saw a new shot from the movie where he's got claws out like mm -hmm. that. So that's pretty interesting. Or where this person has claws out like that. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Uh, let's talk about... So the weapons all have paint on them, which is... Pretty cool for Marvel Legends. Like, Hasbro's not a big fan of putting paint on accessories. But the sword is a metallic blue that matches his armor. And it has an orange highlight on the actual uh, sharp part. And then the shield has the orange paint on the front. They, they don't mind painting shields, though. We know that. But then his bow has orange highlights on it as well. Uh, looks really cool, but the figure itself. Tell me about the figure. He's he's very metallic. Yeah. Um. It looks like he should have a cape, but he doesn't. He only has like this scarf thing. Oh yeah, that's weird. It's probably supposed to look like he has the hood like wrapped around him. Yeah. Sort of like it's a, like the hood is a scarf. Maybe. Does this come off? Mm, I mean, if. Well, don't force it. Rip it off. Yeah, well, yeah. No, don't. So the, is the hood and the head all one part? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about his armor look? To me, he looks very like Arkham Knight. Yeah. Like, not necessarily the character Arkham Knight, but like he's from those games. Yeah, definitely. Has he... Excuse me, has he got a little backpack on as well? He has something. I don't know. I'm not saying it's functional or anything, but no, I don't see. know what that is. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a little storage pack. I'm just sad it's not a place for a shield. Yeah, that'd be nice if there was somewhere for that shield to go, especially considering it has the pop down. Whoa, did that just? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, his I noticed his sword has a hole in the hilt. Yeah. Is there somewhere to store that? Is there like a little peg to put that on, oh. or is it just? Part of the design, I guess. I think it's just part of the design. Okay. So he doesn't have any storage for any of his weapons. Mm -mm. Yeah. But still, looks pretty cool. Lots of armor. How much... The elbows are pretty nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, that part's not bent all the way back. That looks strange. Uh, he actually has more color than you might think at first. He's got... Uh, a lot of color, really. They're all just kind of subdued. But look, he's got that metallic blue mm -hmm. with the silver trim, the orange. He's got one color of blue, but another color of blue. Park the Unite. Yeah. <laughs> um, just uh, did a good job. He looks er, this this person looks cool. This very cool Taskmaster figure, but also in a way. A little generic. Yeah. Like, almost just looks like a trooper as opposed to a main villain type person. When I first saw the picture of him, when they first, like, leaked it, he looked like a Power Ranger. And they look like a Power Ranger. Like one of the movie ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah, kinda. But like still... their hood off, they look like a Power Ranger. But, looks cool. Mm -hmm. uh, not my favorite figure from the set, but I think once we see the movie, maybe we'll have a little different opinion, you know? Because yeah. sometimes once you see a character in action, now you're sure that's the right leg? I mean, I'm assuming so, because I think that's the, the outside. Uh, I think those go inside, though, those holes. Oh, yeah. 
these are usually pretty hard to put together. Well, I don't know. You might be right, though. Hang on. Wait. Stop. Stop. Ooh. <laughs> because it does look like that's the outside, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, yeah, because look, that's your foot shaped like that. So that is... I told you. You were right. You were right. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't get these legs on without heating them up anymore. So we're not going to waste time for the listeners uh, putting this together right now. We'll leave that to the side until we're done. Uh, but looks cool. Very cool build-a-figure. I don't know really anything about Crimson Dynamo, but big giant robots are awesome. Although I, I think it's, it's, a, it's I think it's a dude in a suit though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So now the final piece of this little collection that I picked up, the well, it doesn't have a specific name. It just says Marvel Legends Black Widow. Uh, but I mean, I think it's considered a deluxe figure and this is the white suit version that we saw in the trailer that looked so cool and everybody was like "Ooh, look at her in a white suit that's pretty neat i don't have a figure of that uh comes with the little insert with all the warnings and stuff about plastic or whatever that is i don't know i've never read one so i have no idea what they say <laughs> the cool thing about this figure is it comes with tons of accessories. This is a very, I think, Japanese-influenced figure. Yeah. Because when you go and you see, like, the Bandai and the uh, Metacom figures, like SH Figure Arts and... Oh, my gosh. She is not coming out of there. All right, there we go. So, my question is is this simply a repaint of this figure that we just opened and i am suspecting yes which is okay it's fine that doesn't really bother me because honestly that's probably all the costume really is but let's take a look and see and yes this is just a repaint no way. Uh, yeah, it is. This is just a repaint. No, it's not. Because look, this one doesn't have that backpack. Mm. But it looks like this one has a little. Yeah. But it is the same hair. So the chest piece, unless this backpack is a separate little piece that's attached, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, so it looks like the chest piece on the white one is different. But everything else appears to be the same, uh, right down to the wrist weapons. She does have fingerless gloves, which is different. Uh, but sculpt-wise, it's the same figure. Nope, belt, look, the gun belt is different as well, or is it? No, it's just painted differently. I think it's the same belt. Uh, so, this white... Don't hurt yourself. Uh, just as well articulated, get these nice, deep elbow bends. Uh, really nice. Don't break that. And this table isn't going to take much pushing on it. Uh, we've got an action stand in here, which I believe this is the first time Hasbro has done... A stand like this. Mm -hmm. And I need a couple of those. Well, if they're smart... Oh, I just dropped that. If they're smart, they'll make these stands available separately from a, uh, on Hasbro Pulse. Yeah. Because I think people would buy the heck out of them. And I, I, don't, the and I don't think people necessarily want to just pay 30 bucks uh, just to get a stand. Oh, wow. This is really impressive. So, the base of the stand has nine different holes on it, so you can get lots of different sort of spots for support. <laughs> I like the little Hasbro logo at the <laughs> bottom there. Uh, and then there's a ball at the base of the support rod that pops in and then ratchets so you can face that actual support rod any way you want. And from there... There's a piece 
where you attach the arm that ratchets up and down the support rod. This is incredible. So now we plug this arm in, and then there's a grabber that's spring-loaded. I like that, because that means it's not going to get loose over time. Mm -hmm. Or at least not as easily as one of the ones that's just hinges. So you've got your grabber, you've got your base... And you take your Black Widow figure, which she's got, uh, her holsters are attached to her thighs, but they're, they're just around it. They're not actually attached, that wasn't the right word. So you can move them up and down. Her articulation is great. And you put her in that little clip right there. And there's not a lot of, unfortunately, once the arm is on, like, you can move the arm around, and you can raise it up and down, but you can't angle the figure at all. I wish there was a hinge. Huh. So you can do... Oh, wait. Oh, there is a hinge. Ooh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> so there's a ratcheted hinge on the little gripper so that you can angle the figure to be... Whoop! <laughs> To be moving. I'm glad I wasn't right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is really amazing. So, yeah, this is a pretty versatile stand. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. So, you've got the figure hanging out right there. And then we get into the rest of the accessories, and it's pure insanity. You have blast effects. You have gunshot effects. You've got this deal right here that's three, like, gunshots. She comes with these weird mountain climbing pick things. Sure would be nice if there was some paint on any of these. Gosh, these are just rubber. I am so sick of these rubber accessories. So, yeah, what do these gunshot effects even go to? Surely they can't plug into these little tiny pistols. No! <laughs> what is this even for? Her feet? There's giant pegs on her feet. Oh, yeah, I just noticed there are pegs on the stands. Um, what is What is that <laughs> even for? Maybe it's supposed to be like people are shooting at her? I mean, I guess. It just looks weird. Oh, explosion thing. She didn't come with any other... Oh, that's mm. cool. So the explosion... Explain to us as you put it on what you're doing. It is... It looks like just a bunch of spikes. And what are you doing now? Putting it right below the character. How is it attached? Um... A little peg hole. It's got a, it's got a ball peg on yeah. it, just like the the support strut thing does, so it can plug into any of those nine holes on the stand. And oh, then, it's way bigger. Oh, is it? No, I thought it was bigger. Oh. Uh, and then there's a smaller explosion. I wish you could like attach that to this one. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But then this one would have a big hole in the top and it would look weird. Uh, Alright, and we've also got effects for her wrist weapons, I think. Yeah. So those, you pop her hands off and slide them on over her wrists and it'll look like she's using her widow sting. That's pretty neat. And then finally, we've got four extra hands for holding various things, her pistols, her weird mountain climbing hook deals. It really doesn't make any sense for those blast effects to plug into her feet, but that's what's happening right now. You're gonna watch. What? What am I watching? We'll see. Okay. Is somebody shooting her in the feet? No. I don't think she has <laughs> jet boots, though. That doesn't make sense. How do you know? We haven't seen the movie. Well, that, you're right. We have not seen the movie. 
I don't know. This is really strange. Like, I, I like... Oh, that can't be right. So on the back of the box, the only instructions are for how to put the stand and the support arm together. Uh, and then there's a picture of basically all the explosions just randomly plugged into the base. Uh, and the widow's sting effect. But I just, I don't understand why there are, I mean, these are little tiny pistols. They really couldn't have attached anything to these. But this is so weird. I, I don't get, I mean, these are obviously for like Iron Man, I guess. Mm -hmm. These these little jet effects, and then there's a there's a three maybe her boot fired three times who knows. Uh, but I will say this: this is a great figure. So you're paying twenty bucks for a different Black Widow figure. It's essentially a repaint, but it is a different figure. And then for ten bucks more, you get this incredible stand. And lots of little effects that you can, you know, you can use with other figures. Yeah. You don't have to use them with her. You could throw these on an Iron Man. Uh, this weird three-part one, honestly, I'm not sure what you do with this. Uh, but her wrist effects are cool. The pistols are great. They're really well done. It's cool. It's a cool set. I, I like that it's this instead of something that jumps up the price but seems kind of useless mm -hmm. which is something they do a lot of times so it's cool if you're a fan of black widow if you're a fan of scarlett johansson uh grab this get it and check this stand out the stand is is really tremendous uh hasbro did a good job on this thing and like i said i hope to see it i'm sure we'll see it again in the future but it would be nice if they would sell the stand and well, honestly, I think people would pay $10 just for this stand. What do you think? Yeah. But if they did this stand and then some, like, effects like this yeah. for 10 or 15 I think these things would sell like crazy. So there you go. That Overall, what do you think of, of this wave of what we opened? They're great. What is your favorite? Mm. Spymaster. Spymaster is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is there you can one... Do this. <laughs> for the listeners, uh, Spy Master is in what looks like a really uncomfortable position. No, he's break dancing while shooting. Oh, okay. So he's basically a Fortnite character, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, is there one that you look at and you're like, you know, it would be nice if we hadn't had to buy that to build the robot? Personally, I think they're all pretty good. I'm not disappointed mm -hmm. to own any of them. Like even if I wasn't giving you Crossbones, Spy Master, and Winter Soldier, I'd be happy with this set. It's a it's a very solid set, and uh, whenever the movie does come out, I hope that it's awesome and that we're like cool. I'm glad we got those figures. And it turns to a Hawkeye movie. Well, that would be cool too. Oh, well, well, Hawkeye's getting a TV yeah, show. show. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, thanks for helping me out. You're welcome. And uh, for the listeners, thanks for listening. We'll be back soon. Very soon, I already know what our next unboxing is, but Phantom Jr. does not yet, because I'm waiting to see how his digital learning goes for a couple of weeks before I give him... We huh? have one more week. You don't, I don't think you go back till April. Yeah, but we have spring break. We oh, have have okay, well then, then when spring break starts, we'll see how you've been doing, and I've got something that's going to blow your mind, as long as you're still doing well. Yay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Needless Things podcast. You're the best. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Downcast, or in the ears of a Trader Vic's employee. Love you. Mean it. Uh-huh.